Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to be doing some more with lists and we're going to be delving into some things that can get pretty sophisticated. So alright, let's just get started. So alright, uh, as you've seen before, we can come up with like a range. So let's, let's use a for loop for just a second. In range Type right. Print i. So all right. So right now we got one, two, three, four. Well, let's check this out. So right now, range five. We get this because this is a function, predetermined function. So zero through five. Well. Let's assign this everybody all right watch 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 five close this will help you count your uh, how many parentheses one more close that out so all right <clears throat> what this did is list is also list is a uh, type of object or a type of class but you can also put things into a list by using the list function so now if you call num you get a nice handy list of numbers in the range of 0 through 5 first one is inclusive included 5 is excluded so up into but not including 5 but five numbers come out one two three four five and we can test that by using our len function on num we get five so all right okay now let's just go ahead and get started with this so um this is right now an object and the type class is list so let's to remind you guys how you can find out what certain methods you can run we type in dir and then we type in so right now let's scoot this up a little bit so you guys can see all right we've used append and we've used extend why don't we now use reverse and sort so now uh, so that num yeah okay and then if you forget what variables you've called you can just call dir again and it'll show you the variables that you've used so far so we have num and we used i when we used our for loop just a little handy thing that only works with uh, when you're in shell when you're in shell right there okay so all right um, dot. Okay. and what this does this method right here this operates just like a function but this is specific to your list object and method and function are the same so you got to have your parentheses so now this is an important thing right here this uh, reverses it in place so it completely changed because there are some methods where you would need to assign that to a variable and it wouldn't change I'll uh, show you an example of that later but this is actually let me just show you num dot reverse so okay here all right, this method built-in list instance it is the reverse. And this has this because that is the, like a standard uh, for a list. Reverse. Reverse in place. So if you didn't want to change your original list, let's say, let, let me give you an example. List range 5. So I got num back. But let's just say... I 
I didn't want to change my list. <coughs> Excuse me. Oops. Oh, <laughs> didn't spell reverse right. Okay. So. spell something else right let's look at it okay so if you didn't want to change your original list okay oh I got to make a copy of it okay that's what it's given me a hard time. So, okay, hang on a second. Well, all right, I was surprised by that. That, num. Okay, so now I have to make a copy of this. Excuse me, now I reverse this order. So now I have this in reverse order. So if you didn't want to change your original list of whatever items it was, and there's a there's a good uh, exercise for um, uh, not going to be able to think of the word, the term right now, but if you have if a word is um, the same backwards and forwards, this would be an example of how you would how you would do this. You'd have to make a copy of it, but. Um, now let's say you have you want to put this back in order so you have your other you have your other method sort and it also does it in place oops help Dot sort and the, the 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 thing about um, sort is it is a more sophisticated function. You can say do it in order or reverse, or you could give a specific key. Let's say you wanted to sort this off by like let, let's say you had a tuple. And you you didn't care what the first item was and it was a word and then you had the number of times that that word appeared and you wanted to sort it in order with sort it would automatically do it by the first word but if you wanted to, to then find out how many numbers that might be a great example for us to do ne uh, next time is for us to create a uh, because we worked a little bit with dictionaries, I believe. We'll do something with dictionaries, and um, we'll, we will sort, we will use a sophisticated sort key, and we'll, we'll sort it by the number of times that the word appears. So you have, we'll have to make a key right here. But that's sort, uh, and that's tied to list. So these are, these are just some of the features that list can do now also let me show you one more that it can do that it can be very very handy so it can also all right can take a string And stretch it out so it, it then takes each item and in, including the blank space and puts it into a list <coughs> because a nice example of if we wanted to see these in 
alphabetical order. And then we could begin to count how many times a letter showed up. And we can begin to do that later. But this is just a little bit more of the basics you can do with lists. And very quickly, with these skills, can you go and do some pretty sophisticated items. So, hope you guys are getting something out of this. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thanks. See you next time.